news. Not Monday. Normally our week starts on a Monday, but this week starts on a t t t Tuesday. I hope you had a wonderful break. I hope you had a great Easter. I hope um, the Easter Bunny hopped by your house and left you some things in your basket. Ah, oh, that is so wonderful. Um, I hope you, maybe today you could even write about one thing that you did over these last couple of days. That would be wonderful. So let's think about our calendar and let's get into what we're doing. Today we said it's Tuesday. It is Teddy Tuesday. He's sleeping right now, so we'll bring him back a little bit later. But it is Tuesday, April 14th. Wow! That is a crazy number. We are already in the teens in April. So it is April 14. We know that 14 starts with a one. Yeah, because numbers in the teens, they start with a one. We have April 14, the 14th day of April, 2020. Yeah. So it is April 14, 2020. And that makes our easy, easy peasy date what? January, February, March. April, so we have one, two, three, four. Absolutely, we have the fourth month and the 14th day. Ah, look at that, they both have fours in. The fourth month and the 14th day. So I'm gonna put that a number right here, 14. And then our year, all year long, what number are we putting? 20, awesome. So today is April 14th, 2020 and we said, what day is it? Tuesday. Because normally our school week starts on a Monday, but we were celebrating and kind of hanging out with family yesterday and doing all of our family things. So yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Very good. Since it's not just a regular day and it's a special day and it has a special name, we need to start with a capital T. Oh, my chalk just broke. So we have T for Tuesday, T, U. Ooh, I hear a long U, T, U, stay. We have a sneaky E in here because we know when two vowels go walking, the first one does the yappa, 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 talking. Twos, day. What are the three letters in day? Absolutely, D, A, Y. Today is Tuesday. Absolutely. Let me make sure you can see that. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Monday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. Awesome. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. And yesterday was Monday. Awesome. So we have that today is Tuesday. Um, yesterday, wow, what yucky weather in Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness, it was storming and the wind was blowing and oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe how crazy the storms were. So I hope wherever you are that you are safe and happy and the sun is shining in Pennsylvania, the sun's peeking out. I heard it's supposed to be a little bit nicer later today. Let's go down to short vowels and long vowels. Before we do that, can you remind me what letters are vowels? Mm, I hear some letters coming. Let's hear what we got. We have our first vowel could be A. What's another vowel? E. Another vowel is, we have A, E, I. If we did them in order, we'd say I. Our next one would be A, E, I, O. And our last vowel is U. Now, we are going to think about these words that we have down here. I have bed, cheese, plate, night, and map. And we're gonna think, are they gonna be the vowels that we hear inside there? Do they have a happy short vowel? Or are they a oh, angry long vowel? Those are what we're gonna do. So if it's a short vowel, we are going to write the word in green. So we might have an ah, eh, eh, ah, uh. And if it's a long vowel, you're gonna hear those names of those letters, right? So we're gonna have A, E, I, 
O U. You're going to hear those names. So when we say the words, we're going to pull them apart and then we're going to talk about what vowels are inside. Are you ready? Our first one is get me out of my bed. Right. Let's pull it apart. Ready? B E D. Bed. Awesome. So, E eh, E. Eh. It's a short vowel and it's a short E. So we're going to write bed. Are you ready? I say the sound, I say the sounds, we write the letters. That's how we do this. B, E, D, bed. Awesome. Make sure your B is a B and your D is a D. And if you do, your bed, look, your bed has your B and your D. Okay, so that's one way to remember it. We talked about that a little while ago. Okay, your next one is cheese. Hmm, Ch cheese. Oh, it starts with a diagraph, nice. Let's pull it apart and think about the vowel sound. That's what we want to listen for. Ch, e, s, cheese. Are you ready? You're right, it does start with a, a diagraph. We have the ch, 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 chin, cheese, that's our diagraph, our ch. But think about the vowel sound. Ch, e, s. I heard e, just like you did. So this time our vowel is gonna be a long vowel and he says his name and it's E. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna use blue. Let's write that in letters. We have ch, E. And th this long vowel has two E's together. Cheese, cheese. I'm gonna underline my diagraph because you know, that's what we're supposed to do. And um, next we have plate. Hmm. Plate. The crazy thing about this is, it, if it's a plate, we hear a blend and we hear one vowel. Listen, p o a t, right? P o a t, and hear a long a, a long a for a plate. But if I had some of you out there saying dish, then that would have been d i i, short i sh. So I was calling it a plate. So let's write plate, here we go. And a plate would have the A, here we go. So I have a blend in the beginning, so I have two letters, two sounds. So I wanna hear both of those sounds when we pull it apart, are you ready? P, O, P, O, A, there's my long vowel, pull A, T. And this long vowel has a sneaky E at the end, absolutely, because he wants him to say his name. Okay, our next one is night, night. So if we're talking about night, it's not night when you go to bed, it's night. He is a brave night, okay? The, let's pull it apart and hear the, the long vowel sound, ready? N-I-T, night, awesome. So we're gonna put night, I'm gonna use, whoops, I'm gonna use my blue for my long I. I, Night. All right, my next one is map. Map. It's a treasure map. Ah! Ready? Let's pull it apart. M a p. Ready? Pull it apart again. M a p. Push it. Map. Ah. Oh, I hear a ah. short. So I'm gonna write my word map. M a p. Map. Nice job. The sight word I'm working on today is was. And remember our sight words, they have to just pop into your head. So when you're reading it, you can't sound this guy out because if I tried to sound him out, listen to what would happen. W, as, was, was. That's never gonna say was, okay? So we need to look at our was. We're gonna rainbow write that. Okay, here we go. And I take some of my colors and I'm gonna start with red. And I'll, as I do it, I'm gonna write all my letters, I'm gonna say my letters, and then I'm gonna say the words. So this is what it's gonna look like. W, A, S, was, change my color. W, A, S, was, change my color. W, A, S, was, change my color. W, A, S, was. Every time. 
Write it, say it, write it, say it, write it, say it, okay? Was, 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 W-A-S, was. My number right now is 17. <laughs> 17. Well, how many tens are in 17? 17 is a group of 10 and seven extra ones. So when we write this, we are going to write, we're gonna, if I, I'm sorry, when we're filling in our 10 frame, because we know how many are in a 10 frame, 10, uh-huh. So we have 17, so I know it's gonna be a group of 10. And then how many extras? Seven. So if I just wanna make sure that I'm right, I'm gonna say 10 and keep on counting. So start at 10, count 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I'm gonna count and make sure how many groups of 10? One group of 10. How many extra ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one group of 10 and seven extra ones. Let's do some tally marks, are you ready? Okay, remember we have four tally marks and we close it with number five. Here we go. We're making our tally marks for 17. One, two, three, four, number five, close the door. Six, seven, eight, nine, number 10, close again. Ah, kind of rhymes. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, close it, 15. Am I gonna keep going? Yes. So I have five, 10, 15, keep counting, 16, 17, stop. Ah, let's count them again, ready? Five, 10, 15, 16, 17. My number 17. I have a mystery number today. I have my mystery number written down on my paper so we can talk about it. But my mystery number is more than eight. Huh, my mystery number is more than eight. So if it's more than eight, I know it can't be, it's more than this eight. So now it cannot be any of these numbers down here. It can't be, because it's more than eight. My mystery number is less than 11. So it's fewer or less than 11. So I find 11, and I know it's less than 11, so it can't be 11, and it can't be 12. So my mystery number is either 9 or 10. Hmm. What number do you think it is? My mystery number is more than 8, and it's less than 11. You have two guesses. My mystery number is 10. My mystery number was 10 today. Awesome. And I have a nursery rhyme down here, and it is, Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for my master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Well, it was wonderful hanging out with you this morning. Keep checking back and seeing what's going on for today. And I hope you have a fabulous, terrific Tuesday. And Teddy's still sleeping, so I'm gonna just take this off and come down and say, see ya, Teddy. See ya, Teddy. Have a terrific Tuesday. Bye-bye.